Welcome to the Meditation Realm, Planeswalkers. I'm Caleb, your guide to the Blind Eternities. In today's video, we have another one of the Phyrexia All Will Be One complete bundles. Looking forward to cracking this open and see what goodies we get. These bundles are definitely worth it. There's been a lot of interesting cards, a lot of great art, a lot of great value. The Oil Slick Pack just about pays for itself if you got it at a decent price. We're going to go ahead and quickly go through this stuff. We know it's got a bunch of punch outs. We know it's got the land packs with the awesome Phyrexian Arena. Always good to have Phyrexian Arena for your Black Commander decks. Card draw is a good card draw. And the whole reason we're opening these, the complete edition packs, get to that at the end. And we'll start off with our set boosters. Um, it's kind of varied from each booster on about how many Mythics I've gotten. Uh, the list slot was pretty rewarding in my last booster, so I'm hoping to see how what we get in this box. Alright, we got our R card. We'll skim through the commons and uncommons real quick. And our first rare is Black Sun's Twilight. And then we got an uncommon Urza Factory for our list card. Okay. Nothing great on the first back there. Black Sun's Twilight's pretty good for your commander decks. Um, I really enjoy the Twilight cycle in general. The green one's probably the weakest because you have a potential to whiff. But still good. All right, on to the next pack here. Skim through these. Ooh, we got a Mythic. Starting off with a Capricious Hellraiser. I've seen this seeing some play, and I believe it was Modern that was trying to use this. And uh, Commander can do this guy as well. And we got a Foil Common, and then our Token. All right. So not doing too bad. Start off with a Mythic on pack two. On to the next pack. And generally speaking, there's been a lot of value in the list slot. I'm really happy with set boosters. Unless you're somebody who really wants to draft, I recommend that you don't buy draft boosters and that you buy set boosters. We have Malkator, Purity Overseer, and then a Foil Rare, Cop, Fire of Resistance, and his token. Nice. Perfect to get his emblem with it. He's good for those Mono Red Commander decks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I put him into my Mono Red. Any guy that can help you mana fix and basically card advantage at the same time, clearing out your deck. Always worth it, especially for the red. Speaking of red, Red Sun's Twilight, another good card of the Twilight Cycle. Uh, nets you some value. You, you exile the tokens at end of turn, but still, if you're able to blow up a bunch of big mana rocks, you basically play this for free, and then you get some other big hasty artifacts to potentially blow people out with. And then foil common. Bring the ending. There's some good Corrupted cards, that's definitely not one of the more playable ones for Commander, anyways. I don't know if any Constructed's playing that guy. Alright, Furnace Punisher, he's punishing the limited environment. Ooh, so for our next Mythic, we have Nahiri in the Phyrexian art. Nice, she's not foil, but still, another Mythic. And then we got a rare Norn's Wellspring. And then a foil common and a token. Nice. So two mythics so far. Both playable mythics at that. I believe Nahiri's definitely got some modern capabilities, but I don't think she's really seen a spotlight yet. <clears throat> Hopefully something will uh, find a good spot for her. Alright. Let's see. Oop. We got a mythic. We got Drivnod. Carnage Dominus. Nice. Back-to-back -back mythics. Uh, foil uncommon, and then oh, uh, Nihil Spellbomb for our list card. Cool, Spellbomb's always good. On to the next pack. Three mythics so far, so we're starting off pretty good. I believe my worst box only had three or four mythics, not counting what was in the complete edition pack. All right, and then we got another signed list or uh, art card. I know some of those signed art cards are worth money. Some people really like them. Some of the full art, like especially the lands, are just playable in Commander because nobody will care if you play the different full art version of the Swamp that's back there versus uh, the full art card. We got Sea Chrome Coast. Another good rare. Uh, always good to have the land cycle. And then we got a foil in common. And then a rare from the list slot, Fist of Suns. Nice. Again, the list slot has a lot of good cards in it. So much value, especially when they reprint, you know, stuff that really needs those reprints. 
I know people have been pining over like the Blight Steel Colossus that we got in the last video. Ooh, now if only we could open up her attraction in the special art. This is the art card for her by Anato Finstark. Nice. All right, skipping through commons, uncommons. We have Monument to Perfection. Vraska's full of our common. All right. Nothing too great in that pack. The Monument to Perfection is... Uh, I could see somebody trying to build around it. You pay a bunch of mana. You get several. If you have a bunch of the basic spheres and locust lands, you get a 9-9 nine -nine construct with Toxic 9. It wins the game quick. But uh, it's a big hoop to jump through. All right. We got Might Overseer for the rare. Conduit of Worlds for a second rare. And a foil common. And a third rare. Nice. One of the third rare packs. We got a Pentavis for the list slot. Close to getting one of those mythic fork rare packs. All right. We're down to the last three packs of our set boosters here. Hopefully we can get ourselves another couple sweet mythics. The ones we've gotten, though, are all playable. I know a lot of people that I've talked to have thought about building Drivnod as a commander. Very strong mono black commander. Easy just to turn it on. You play it, you just pay four life, and then you exile a couple cards from your graveyard. And it's indestructible. Alright, our first rare is Glisseth, Sunslayer. She's another strong card for commander. And a foil on common. Alright, second to last pack here. <clears throat> Let's see what we can get lucky with here. Yeah, looking through, commons and uncommons. First rare, White Sun's Twilight. Probably the strongest of the Twilight cycle. Blowing up the board, gaining a bunch of life, and putting out a wide threat. The toxic creatures end the game quick. Five toxic one guys is a two-turn clock for somebody who can't get rid of them or put out a defeat, the uh, blockers. Tybar Stan, one of the better uncommons from this set, actually. That's nice. Uh, always great to have that instant speed indestructibility and then also hexproof it's basically a green counter spell in most scenarios we're on to our last set booster here so we're actually kind of down on mythics we started off strong <clears throat> hopefully we can make up for it in this pack all right starting off with vince vencer corpse puppet in his uh showcase art and then we have a uh, phyrexian arena in the non-Phyrexian language. And then a foil common. And another third rare pack. So I believe we got three, three rare packs in this. That's pretty good odds. Uh, not with too many mythics. This is Tadeus, the Juniper Ascendant. Um, this was from the Secret Lair. This is one of the, uh, I believe this was, um, I can't remember if it was uh, Street Fighter or one of the other ones. But I know it was one of the Secret Lair English, uh, Remade to magic named. Not bad. All right. Now it's time to see what we get in here. I know a lot of people really like the lands. There's a lot of value here. A lot of people are getting them for their commander decks. All right. And the, uh, the art on a lot of these cards are really sweet. In the in the slot. All right. Get up here, over here. Such beautiful lands again. You can see kind of how it looks on camera, but it's so much better in person, especially getting to feel the texture of it. We're gonna skip through the lands here, and our first mythic is. Staff of Completion. Oh, doesn't that just look so metal? That's pretty sweet. All right. <clears throat> now on to the next. Who do we have? We have a Tyrannix Rex. Nice. I believe we got him in the last one that we opened as well. He reminds me of the Alien from the Alien series. It was pretty awesome. A great card for Commander. Wins the game quick. An 8-8 that uh, has Toxic 4 is going to swing out the games real quick. 
these boosters are worth a lot of value. You know, some are worth more, some are worth less, and that's why I was saying, depending on what you got it for, it might not be worth it. I think in this one only guy was around a little over 120 bucks. So if you had spent 140 bucks on it, you would have been down. But if you were able to get it when it was 80, 90, 100 dollars at your local retailer or your local uh, card shop, definitely worth it. Thank you for joining me, Planeswalkers. Tune in for the next video. We got several more of these complete edition bundles coming up. Uh, if you haven't already, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you here soon.